okay now that I've got my uh, Windows Server 2008 up and running and I've I've got a network connection I've got internet access got all this it's time to uh, install Active Directory so I'm gonna open up um, the server manager which I have here and I'm going to let's see scroll down here and I'm gonna add a role to the um, to the server and you can go up here and uh, go to roles and right click and add roles here too right so I can click right click here add roles I could add roles here I'll just click right there all right and all right it says all right before you begin blah 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 next and now I have a choice of what role I want to add to the server so I'll say Active Directory Domain Services which is the second one down and then I'll click next and it gives me um, a bunch of things that I need to note before time um, like an Active Directory uh, domain server requires a DNS server to be installed uh, so we will be turning on a DNS server in the process you don't have to install a DNS server ahead of time you can do it uh, during the process um, after you install look what it says here in this third bulletin after you install the ADDS role use the Active Directory Domain Services installation wizard dcpromo.exe to make the server a fully functional domain controller so we're gonna need to do that okay um, so anyway I'll hit next and install all right and so then it's gonna run through the installation process and I think at the end it's gonna ask us to restart all right the install is finished and I get a message saying installation succeeded okay that looks good and I'll hit close right and now in the server manager um, it didn't ask me for a restart but there is a warning here active directory domain services little X here maybe we should click on it and see what it says all right well it's working anyway um, we've installed Active Directory but we still need to run DC promo um, so let's see here this server is not yet running as a domain controller run the Active Directory domain services installation wizard DC promo right which domain controller prom promotion basically so I could click right here and just run it right or I could go here to start and then just insert right here uh, this is also almost like a run dialog box right here I can just hit DC promo and hit enter and there it is there's the installer right there but I will just click right here and see what happens all right and there it is so here's the Active Directory domain service installation wizard I'm gonna click next next and I'm not joining an existing forest this is gonna be a new domain so I'll create a new domain and a new forest all right and then the um, fully qualified domain name of the forest root domain so this is where you're going to give it a domain name so I'm going to say Dan's lab dot local and I'm just making that up uh, Dan's lab dot local it's not a dot com um, it's just going to be a local area network so that'll be good enough I'll hit next it's going to check to see if that's out there already okay forest functional level um, it says here what is the functional level that you're going to use for your forest and this is important because if there's other servers on your network then you want to make sure that the functional level will be able to incorporate those other servers especially if the servers are older servers like a Windows Server 2003 here so I could set this to a 2003 forest level and then if there's older servers they'll be able to um, communicate and join and, and that would work but I don't so I'm just gonna say let's say 2008 R2 that's what I'm using um, that's what I'm gonna be using here and so I'll just do that it says you and there's a note here notice the warning sign you will be able to add only domain controllers 
that are running Windows Server 2008 R2 or later to this forest. So, um, you know, and that, you know, that could be problematic, especially if you had some other types of servers that were older servers. Anyway, I'm just going to keep it up to the highest. I don't have any other servers. So next. Okay, the next window that popped up after it was examining the DNS settings was select and additional options for this domain controller, DNS server. So for Active Directory to work, it needs to also have DNS uh, services or DNS server running. So we're going to need to install a DNS server. So I'm going to just keep it checkmarked and say that sounds great um, and hit next. So just take the default on that. Uh, and it says now I get a message, Active Directory Domain Services Installation Wizard, otherwise no action is required. Do you want to continue, right? If you are integrating with an existing DNS infrastructure, you should manually create a delegation to this DNS server. It's basically not finding anything else outside of Dan's lab.local, so do you want to continue? And I'll say yes, right? And then for the next window, um, for the database folder, log files in the sysvol. Um, it says here that for better performance I could put them on a separate ser volumes but I don't have separate volumes so I'm just going to leave them on the C drive and that should be fine. Alright and then um, I'm going to need to have a restore mode administrator account password here so I'll just uh, make one up really quickly. Okay, and then I'll hit uh, review of everything that's happened so far and hit next. And now the installation is running. And if I want, I can click reboot on completion or just manually reboot it. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, I started the recording again so you could see as it's going through some of this process. Um, I didn't want to record the whole thing. And there we go, it's finished. Okay, so a quick finish. And of course to get this to work it wants me to do a restart. So re Okay, we restarted the uh, server and let's go take a look for our Active Directory. So I'm going to fire up the server manager, right? and we'll open up roles and you'll see there's Active Directory Domain Services right here. We'll open that up here. Active Directory Users and Computers. So you can see here that we have Active Directory Domain Services. Um, DNS Server, we also have our DNS Server right here which you can open up. So we have all of these things that we can that we now need to learn and use our DNS server and Active Directory domain services. Um, go to Start, Administrative Tools, and Active Directory Domains and Trusts. And that opens up the Active Directory Domains and Trusts window. I'll maximize it, and you can see there's Dan's lab.local, uh, Domain DNS. Domains and trust. So this is danslab.local and it's our domain. Um, close that. Start administrative tools and users and computers. And here's Active Directory users and computers. There's danslab.local. And then here's where we can start creating users. These are the built in default users. These are default folders and we're ready to start using Active Directory.